What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and check out what I have in my hands here. Yes, another suppressor. Some folks are like, why, how, and why do you need so many suppressors? Why, what's the point, you know? Uh, calm down, calm down, all right? There's nothing wrong with having options. Um, I love options um, and I hope I get my hands on some more suppressors, all right? Um, this is Torrent Suppressors. They're out of Stafford, Texas. They're out of Stafford, Texas. This is their 30M, eight inches long. Um, on the website, they said it weighed 14 ounces. I weighed it myself and it weighed 16 ounces. That was the only thing I seen on the website that was a little incorrect. Um, constructed well. Uh, I walked into Bauer Precision just BSing like I always do when I walk in there and I saw it sitting on the rack and I was like, holy cow, what is that? Because it, it's a good looking can. That's that's actually a good looking can. And I was like, what is that? And they're like, hey man, it's that Torrent Suppressor, uh, Texas made. And I'm like, okay. And I'm all about support in Texas. You know, anything, anything in Texas, I do my best to support. And uh, I said, man, I, I gotta get my hands on one of these. And uh, I got the M version because I already have a bunch of long suppressors and uh, there's really no need for me to have any more big suppressors. I, I wasn't really interested in the K version. Uh, guys, just from my experience uh, shooting suppressed, uh, shooting multiple suppressors, uh, I've noticed the shorter I go, the louder it gets, all right? And uh, usually right around this length and a little bit longer, the cans start to sound a lot better. So I'm sticking with the long ones, man. I don't care what people say. Yeah, the extra length sucks. Sometimes they're heavier, uh, but they do sound better, especially on, on certain platforms, all right? So always get different feedback from different different platforms, you know? Uh, the first time I ran this suppressor, I ran it on my 12 and a half inch 308. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it wasn't fair to the can. Uh, 12 and a half inch 308 is extremely hard to suppress. It just doesn't sound good. And then I bumped it over to the MK107, my 762 by 39 Diablo, and it did not sound good over there as well. And I was like, you know what? Let's just get over to the 16s and, and, and see what happens. Well, I ended up putting it on my 18 inch 308. And guys, there's, it, it almost felt like I was shooting a bolt gun, to be honest with you. It sounded that good. Uh, short rigs, they're, I don't even know how to explain it. I guess it just depends on the caliber or your load. I don't know what it is, but some of them just don't sound good suppressed. I do love the compact size. I go back and forth, uh, but when it comes to the 16s and the 18 suppress, oh, they just sound so damn good. And this suppressor really shined on my 18 inch 308. And I haven't tried it on my 16 inch 308 yet. I will soon, but uh, right now I'm running on my 18 and it's probably going to, it's probably going to stay there. Uh, you guys are going to hear the feedback here later on in the video. Uh, all right, before, uh, we get any deeper into this, Greg Abbott, I don't know why the hell he said this. A lot of you guys are familiar with this, but he said that if there is a suppressor that is hundred percent made in Texas, you don't have to worry about a tax stamp. And that stirred up a lot of shit because a lot of people start running into these gun shops wanting to buy Texas made suppressors and thinking that they can just walk out. And that's not true. And if you did, eventually, those black Tahoes are gonna roll up to your house, they're gonna knock on your door, and they're gonna be asking for the suppressor and the paperwork. You still gotta follow the rules, man. And uh, unfortunately, that's just the way it is, you know? So you still gotta get your tax stamps on these. They're out of Stafford, Texas, which I thought was really cool. I grew up in the Missouri City area, and then later on, we moved over to the Cypress Fairbanks area in Houston. So I really had to get my hands on one of these just to support uh, the company based back at, back home, you know? Um, it's a good can. Again, 16 ounces, a little heavy uh, compared to some other cans that I have, uh, but the weight is worth what I experienced in the field. Let's talk about that. So I know a lot of people like to go off of decibel readings and there's nothing wrong with that. I don't have any, I don't have a decibel reader and I don't have any info on decibels with the torrent suppressor, but one of the one of the good things I can do to get good feedback is shooting around my friends. And 
when you're out in the field, you know, let's just say you have a can, they swear up and down it's 100 and we'll, we'll just throw a crazy number out there, all right? Random number, 120 decibels. My buddy has a can that's 128 decibels. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, with your ear, your raw ear, no ear pro or anything like that, it's gonna be extremely difficult to be able to hear the difference. So I don't like to go off of decibels, all right? And I know that means a lot to everybody. More power to you, there's nothing wrong with that. But one of the best things I can do to get feedback on a good suppressor is shoot around my friends and hear what they have to say. And sometimes, sometimes they're like, man, damn, that thing is loud. And then other times they're like, that thing sounds good. And just recently I went hunting with some buddies and we, I was shooting a torn suppressor on my 18 inch 308 and I had nothing but good compliments. They were like, man, that thing sounds really good. And it ran good. I had zero issues. And I can't say I didn't have zero issues. I, the gun was it was under gas, but it still operated until until the moment I needed it the most. And uh, she short struggled and didn't didn't go into full battery and uh, caused a little bit of a headache there in the field in the dark. It just sucked. Uh, so I opened up the gas system on the superlative arms adjustable gas block and she ran perfect after that But uh, anyways, uh, it's always good to shoot around my buddies just to hear what they have to say because uh, It's more likely they're gonna let you know. Hey, I think sounds good or it sounds like crap So just recently I just came back from a hunt. Uh, we had a really good hunt. We killed 20 pigs uh, 20 pigs 10 coyotes uh, nine coyotes recovered the 10th one we couldn't find in the grass. The grass was too tall, we couldn't recover that coyote. But uh, we had a great great hunt and I was using this suppressor the entire weekend and uh, guys, it just sounded really good in the field, man. Uh, there's a lot of times I, I keep my ear pro on, I just kind of cringe sometimes when I'm shooting suppress on certain rigs and this gun just sounded really good. It, it felt like I was shooting my bolt gun and it, it just sounded really good. Um, nobody was complaining in the field. Everybody was like, man, damn, that thing sounds good. Um, unfortunately, when you're hunting with two other guns and you're trying to get feedback from a suppressor, you're not gonna get it because these other guns are going off and you don't know who's doing what and what's, what sound is what. You just, you, nobody's gonna be able to make it out. But I was able to get audio on a solo coyote that I put a stalk on and I don't know what happened on the first shot. Uh, I was 100% positive I was dead on him. Uh, I don't know if the bullet was high or it passed through him and just didn't wasn't lethal. Uh, but you can see him kind of squirm. He runs around. I go for a follow-up shot, missed, put my reticle back on him and then led a little bit and I connected right, right in the jaw and just rolled him. And you guys get to hear how the suppressor sound in the field. Um, you know, on a hunt, you know, and it, you're going to be able to tell like, damn, that thing sounds really good. There wasn't much cracking. There wasn't much of an echo going on in the background. It was just a good soft sound. Um, that 18 inch rig, it, it's just, it's just a shooter, man. And it sounds really good suppressed, but, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's going to be really hard for me to take this can off of that setup. Anyways, Enough of me talking. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a clip from that weekend, uh, a quick breakdown of my setup. Also, I'm going to shoot a few rounds uh, from the rig, uh, semi-automatic, of course, uh, slow, and then I'm also going to rip into the to the trigger. Uh, just five or six shots on each round. I can't remember how many times I was shooting, but you guys will be able to get some feedback uh, from the suppressor. And then we'll also have that stalk on that coyote added to the video. All right, so real quick, I'm going to give you guys the spec on this setup. I've already done a video on this rig, uh, but it's been repainted to FDE thanks to Presample Depot out of Fort Worth, Texas. Torrent suppressor. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. So we got a PWS uh, buffer tube here with their ratchet style castle nut. Strike Industries forward assist. We have an Alpha Omega armament lower here with the TK engraving. It's pretty sweet. And uh, the upper is an Aero Precision. The reason I went with the Aero Precision is because it paired up pretty good with the Alpha Shooting Sports 16 and a half inch pitchfork rail. We got a BSF barrel here, 18 inch with a superlative arms adjustable gas block. 
We have the G JP VMOS or VMOS bolt carry group. This is the heavy model with the silent capture, ADM mount and FDE, but it's more like bronze with the bolt TL35. I run bolt TL35 on almost everything I use. Magpul furniture, Magpul 25 round mag. Uh, you guys already know the tripod setup. This is the QDT V2 from Two Vets with their ball head. And uh, what else did I miss? Oh, the trigger. Two and a half pound single stage trigger from CMC. And the mag release, I don't know exactly what that is. I know somebody's going to recognize it and put it out there, but I don't know what it is. And now we have the torrent suppressor. So this rig is unloaded. Notice there's no round in there. And we have the torrent suppressor here. As you can see, I'm already using it. It's well used. It's a pretty sweet little can here. Uh, and actually, this is the medium model. So they have a K, an M, and an L. And I almost went with the L, but I already have some long suppressors. So I ended up going with the medium. And it sounds really good on this 18-inch setup. So I'm going to shoot off a few rounds. You all know how crazy ammunition is right now, so I don't want to go too crazy. I'll give you guys maybe five or six rounds with it so you can hear it. And then get you guys some hunting clips as well. I do like this suppressor. I know you guys hear a lot of that from me. Like, oh, I like this. I like that. There is some cans that I don't like, you know. And... One, I like this because it's made in Texas. I'm all, I'm all about supporting Texas companies. Uh, they're out of staff for Texas, but it is a good can. It sounds really good on this setup. Uh, you can change the end cap out. So if you have any type of uh, uh, strikes, uh, you, can, you can swap the end cap out right here. Just put a, I don't know, ply, not a pair of pliers, but, you know, crescent wrench or a wrench that fits that, and you can back that out. You can also interchange the end cap at the back and you can use whatever QD mount and it's interchangeable with a lot of other stuff. It works with the dead air stuff, uh, the um, plan B, you can run different stuff, but it's a cool looking can. And again, it's not all about the looks, it's about the sound and it sounds really good with this setup. So I'll give you guys a few shots with it and then we'll get to some hunting clips. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, this isn't me trying to sell this suppressor or push it on you. Uh, you know, I had no idea that this suppressor existed, to be honest with you, until I had walked into Bauer Precision. Uh, and when I seen the can, I, it just, it caught my attention. I was like, man, I want to try that out. And it, it turned out to be a good grab, you know? So I'm really happy about this. Uh, you know, suppressors, is, it's a little iffy, man, because when you walk in, you see something that you like and you hear a lot of good stuff about it and you purchase it, there's some things about it that you might not like. Some people might not like the weight. Some people might not like the length. Some people might not like the way it sounds, you know, and there's no returning that suppressor. Oh, I don't like this. Here, take it back. It doesn't work like that. And uh, that's why I try to do as many of these videos as much as possible, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of feedback and you can go off of that. There's a lot of information online, um, a lot more uh, info that you want as far as description and everything like that. Um, I know a lot of people like shorter cans and I'm not against it. Um, more power to you. Uh, I'm all about the mid length and the longer cans. Um, again, just from my experience in the field, I've noticed that the medium length and the longer cans just sound better. Um, but it is what it is, you know, to each his own. Um, I'm extremely happy with this one and it's not going anywhere and it might stay on that 308 uh, just because I'm happy with that setup and I'm happy with the way this thing is performing. It wasn't it wasn't causing the gun to be heavily overgassed. Um, I forgot exactly how 
this thing operates on the inside uh, but obviously it is flowing pretty well so I'm not too I'm not too worried about that uh, the next one could be the L I really want to try an L and I also want to try that damn 556 end cap they have a 556 end cap and I've been looking around and it's been out of stock in some places Rainier Arms had them uh, but it's out of stock over there and RSR had them and they were out of stock as well. Um, anyways, enough of me talking. I'm ready for some other videos. We're going to talk about some stuff from IRA, possibly the uh, Micro uh, RH25. And then we also have the Mark Micro RL25, uh, the 384 version. And also we have the Hydrogen L from Otter Creek. That's another can that's pretty impressive. Long can but super light. We're going to talk about that stuff later on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you log off and wander off to another channel, I forgot to mention this. Bauer Precision is offering 15% off of these torrent suppressors. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it'll save you a few bucks. 15% Bauer Precision in Denton, Texas. I apologize. I didn't say that earlier in the vid. Again, I'll see you guys in the next video.